But if it were made of cheese, there would be a way to find out. And with me right now is Mike Predko from a company called Mimetics. Now, you have a robot that can detect the mineral composition of, I guess, minerals on Mars or minerals right here on Earth. That's right. The uh, robot uh, here has a, what's known as reflectance spectrometer. It's six different LEDs shine different colors of light onto whatever the robot's on top of and measures the reflectance of each of the uh, different colors. Very clever. So this is really uh, very similar to what the Mars Curiosity rover does as well. That's correct. It has many of the same capabilities. It has a built-in computer that allows programs to be downloaded into the robot and executed with nobody around. Okay, well let's take a look and see how that works. So for the programming, this is just a very simple programming interface here. I'm going to make the robot go forward for a bit, move it to the uh, that's the right. right. A bit. <laughs> yep, thank you. And then go back forward again. So let's Wonderful. try this program here. And so the idea is, of course, if you were communicating with a rover on Mars, it would take eight to 17 minutes to send every command. So you'd want to have it be able to execute its own commands up there. That's correct. Because if we were to send something directly, as we've kind of shown here, is it, it, it you can get, it'll take a long period of time, but also there could be interference. Okay. So, so let's take a look here and see what, is it able to detect the minerals? right now? That's right. So I've just, I'm going to go and run the spectrometer and I've gotten a signature for the first sample, which Kaboom. is basalt. B basalt, not basalt. cheese. Okay. okay. And let's take a look at the second one. Sure. This is fascinating. So this is an educational toy. So people, teachers, kids can use this and program this as well? That's correct. And it's available from our website for $2.99. So much fun. So. Okay, so you do the reading with the spectroscopy here again, and just based on the signature then, you can tell that this is what mineral? This is olivine. I love this. Okay, let's go to the third one. So theoretically then, Mike, if I took this to the Grand Canyon, would I be able to do different readings, different mineral readout readings? Yes, you'd be able to get signatures for the different minerals and then determine what they actually are based on those signatures. Wonderful. Kapow, let's see what we got here. And this is hematite. This is another sedimentary uh, rock that's formed in the presence of water. So clever. Thank you so very Thank much. You. I absolutely love this high-tech toy. Everybody, Thanks. Mike Predko from so. the Medics. Okay, up next, from Chimp.